So I had, um, oh, it's dark in there. I'm going to tilt it toward the light. I had that spring in there, which has quite a heavy tension to it. And I want to put a spring on both ends, obviously, so that I can cock, oops, cock the treadle and leave it where I put it. So I went to the hardware store rather than order online, and I got a similar size spring. But as you can see in, in here, is way softer. Oops, uh-oh, shorted. Oh, no, positive down tubes. And it'll put a lot less tension, even having it on one on each side, one over here and one over here. Uh, should be enough room for this in here. I, I don't know. I could always cut it a little short, maybe. You know, bend a few sides of it up and make a hook. But you can see the tension is like, see if I can stretch it, see. The other one can hold a, a maximum of 19 pounds before it's considered to stretch. That's which means it could probably hold like 50 pounds, which is way too much tension. This one probably <laughs> five pounds and it'll start to stretch. So yeah, it paid off to pay the extra dollar and go to the hardware store. It was very expensive spring, but it's the correct tension for my, that's way too tight. It's too much tension on the pot shaft and it's just too tight. It should not have to be that tight. I mean, it needs to be snug so that, you know, when I rock back and forth, it doesn't slack or slip or, you know, change the, the wah uh, at all. Because I only want to do one loop. I don't want to do two loops so that the loop shifts back and forth and overrides itself. I just want to do one loop around. That's it. One loop and, right? So a spring on each side. One over here. One over here. And then I should be able to put the wah wherever I want to put it. And it should stay. I mean, that's theoretically the, the goal, but as you can see, that's a better spring for the job. See, so yeah, I'll show you again this one. A lot more tension. This one. Again, that one that I ordered, even though it's a similar size, is 19 pounds maximum stretch weight. So 19 pounds, and it will start to stretch. This one, as you can see, will start to stretch maybe after five pounds. So it's a lot softer. So these are the correct springs, and I did get two of them. So there it is. Then <laughs> then the only thing, and you know the wah works enough that I could hear it. You know, I tried it, and it's like wah, wah, wah. I'm like, wow, the extra throw is, is interesting, you know, and I can always put a bumper where I want it to stop, but having that extra throw, even though it's a dead space in the sweep, it's not totally dead, but mostly a dead space in the sweep, it gives me the option to lean forward or lean back and rock it from where I want and turn the water where I want, and there's a lot more throw there, so that's exciting, but the wah is not working, so <laughs> uh, hello, I gotta figure out what's going on there, but... Before I even start to think about putting, you know, my five capacitor board on this rotary switch. Hello. <laughs> and yes, I watched a video on YouTube. The guy has, um, I can't remember his name or I would tell you. It's a Vox 847 watt capacitors. And uh, he goes through all the values. He shows you the low end. He shows you the high end. He tells you he can't hear the difference on the high end, but I personally can. And uh, one of my favorite ones was the 4700 uh, picofarads, which I guess in, in microfarads are, are what's called UF, or it's not even a U. It's like a weird symbol. Microfarads, not micro microfarads. This gets confusing, right? Is 0047. So, yeah, I looked through my box of capacitors. I have like a, a zero one, which would be about what he has on his one zero six zero zero picofarads, but and that's a microfarad. But, uh, you know, before I even think about that, I got to get this working, but it works enough that I could try it and I could see how the sweep feels. And, you know, like I said, it's prototypical, it's cardboard. It needs more bracing. You know, the other brace would have more of a triangle to it, you know, and absolutely be not able to break. And this would be stiff enough that it won't 
bend, but as you can see, yeah, I have my magnifying glass holding it up there. As you can see, what happens is it pulls back, needs a spring on each end, and the spring needs to be, you know, soft enough. Oops. <laughs> that I can launch it across the room. Right? Hey, maybe we should add something in there about uh, spearfishing. <sighs> you remember that one? Can it core a apple? So, uh, yeah, that's it. I got two new springs. Cost a dollar extra, but it paid off to go to the hardware store and feel what it feels like. And it's definitely the right tension. So, you know... I saw this old hardware store once up in the mountain when I was with my, my real father. And uh, they had like, <clears throat> what was it they had? Like an old pair of rusty bicycle wheels or something in the window. And I remember I was like, wow, that's the way it should be. <laughs> like, here you go. What do you got to give me for those old rusty bicycle wheels? I'll give you this partially used car alternator. All right, done. Done deal. But I don't feel like that's a fair balance. Is there anything else you need? Yeah, I need a couple nuts and a couple bolts. All right, I owe you something. Take the couple nuts, couple bolts. Take the bi rusty bicycle wheels. And when, when you need something next time, let me know. And I'm sure we'll work something out. You know, like that's the way I want to live. <laughs> but, you know, it's like Radio Shack, right? I made the joke about, oh, I don't know why they went out of business. You know, it was nice to have a place where every one to three years I could go in and, you know, buy a resistor. <laughs> or or a, a knob, right? Or a, or a, you know, Panasonic fax phone battery. But, you know, it'd be nice if places could be open and be on the fair trade system and people be honest and well that's where it has to start people have to be honest but <clears throat> so anyway there it is i made a long thing out of a short thing right softer spring i'm excited i want i'm not going to deal with it right now i'm going to take my time string it back up put the right attention on it and i have to put a little turnbuckle on the string or some way of some way of tightening the tension Right, I haven't figured out what that is. It could be maybe something in here that pulls on the string. You know, I still have to cut. Oops, can't see it because it's all shadowed. I still have to cut out in here for where the spring goes down, leans into the wood, right? So I have to cut like a little pocket bed, which means I have to take this off and clamp a piece of wood on there and drill at a sharp angle into there. Or just drill a couple holes and cut it out with a little, you know, a little coping saw by hand like that. You know, I could do it that way. I mean, it's prototypical. It's not a fashion show, but just an idea I had. I always found was to be a little frustrating because the, the throw was so short. And obviously, I'm not going to change the sweep. But there is a little extra sweep, which is why you can turn your wah back. A couple of notches and get the darker sound right because there is more sweep and there's certainly way more sweep than even what i have on here before you hit the end of the pot which wouldn't be good for it to run to the end of the pot but i don't know it's, the goal is to be able to lean into it and get a little saucy you know legend of the drunken wah pedal kind of thing and be like oh you know nice and slow like that Whoa! Right? Well, there it is. Softer Springs. $4 and something cents. What was it? Four, almost $5 for two springs, which is very expensive. But, you know, it's the right ones. And this prototypical piece of cardboard that doesn't work. <laughs> it's, mechanically it works but you know electronically it does not yet work and certainly I've got a long way to go uh you know it's worth it Nico says this will yield dividends and he was right it already did like people were excited they were putting up their WA videos they were you know and it's not because this is great or something it's because 
People have ideas and ideas are normal and it's exciting to be encouraged to share your ideas and, you know, not be hill bullied and made fun of for having an idea that's different from somebody else, right? So that's all. So there it is, my softer springs. A long, a long video out of a short topic. Nice soft spring. Exactly what I wanted. I got two of them. All right. Thanks for watching.